After washing the chicken properly, now we'll add lemon and leave it for near about 2 to 3 minutes. And then we'll rinse it off again with clean and nice water. Now for the marination, we need half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Now we'll give it a quick mix and leave it in the refrigerator for one hour to marinate. While the chicken is kept for marination, we'll prepare our green masala paste, and for that we'll be needing seven to eight curry leaves, one small sized onion, two to three green chilies, depending on it like how pungent you want it to be. Now we'll be adding a handful of mint leaves and a handful of coriander leaves. Blend everything together to form a fine paste. Now for the dry ingredients, take half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, and. 1 tablespoon of black pepper powder. When the oil is properly heated, add 1 large onion finely chopped. Mix it up well and add near about half a teaspoon of salt so that it cooks easily and it cooks quicker. Give it a mix and leave it till it's translucent. Like this and now it's time to add our ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste we are using 1 teaspoon. Give it a quick mix and leave it aside till it is nice and golden brown. Just like this. Now it's time to add our green paste that we have made earlier. Add the whole thing inside. You can also put a little bit of water and toss it around and pour it into it. And we'll mix it up properly. And now it's time to add our dry ingredients as well. As all the spices has been put in and everything is well combined, just give it a quick mix and let it cook for near about 5 minutes. You'll come to know when your spices is properly cooked when you see it starts leaving oil just like this and it has also changed color so it's properly done. So now it's time to add our marinated chicken into it. Mix it up properly and remember that you do not need to add any water into this curry because the chicken automatically leaves water like it gets moist automatically so please do not add water into it. Now I'm adding one whole lemon juice which is freshly squeezed and we'll mix it up properly and also cover it up and leave it to cook. While your chicken is cooking, please subscribe to my channel. It is totally free for you and it means so much to me. Time to check if our chicken is cooked or not. See, it has left a lot of water and I have not added a single drop of water into it. So we'll leave it on medium flame to dry out all the water just like this. And when you see that the oil has started leaving the curry, it is the perfect time. It is done. It is cooked. So we'll add a little bit of pepper on top of it and freshly chopped coriander leaves and we'll mix it and leave it for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes just switch off your gas and your chicken is ready to be served. By the time this chicken is been cooling down a bit, it's time to make some parathas. so much for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys next time with a cool recipe as promised bye bye